guess what today is we're going to be talking about this sundress that i have on so if that's some content that you would like to see stay tuned Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs and in this video, we are going to be doing a pattern review for this lovely, sexy, classic sundress that I have on as part of the dress series. Now, before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe button, and also turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So without further ado, Let's go ahead and get right on into this pattern review, but I want to say thank you to all my new and returning subscribers. I enjoy having you guys and thank you so much for your continued support. So now today we are going to go ahead and get into this pattern review, starting with the pattern description. So the pattern that I did was McCall's 8213, which is a Mrs. Sundress. It's like a pullover style sundress. It has the view A has the ties at the shoulders, which is the view that I did. Well, I did view B, but the ties of view A. It also has an elastic back and it has straps or ties at the shoulders. And then you have a ruffle at the bottom um, for view B or view C. Now view C is more of a tiered instead of just a ruffle. So you have two tiers um, for the bottom of view C. Now originally I wanted to do view C but I didn't have enough fabric and this fabric is from about two years ago and I just thought it was you know kind of funny that it's the exact same fabric from the pattern so I went ahead and used it because I only had like three yards of this fabric two and a quarter I mean two and three quarters yards of this fabric in order to create this dress. Now that I talked about the pattern description, let's go ahead and talk about the skill level. So the skill level for this pattern on the Something Delightful website is rated as very easy. Do I feel that it's very easy? Absolutely. This is a very easy pattern. I plan on doing it again. It shows up so quickly. Not, a, not many pattern pieces or any of that stuff. So now that I talked about the skill level, let's talk about the notion used. So the only notion that you need for this uh, dress is elastic so you need one and one fourth inch elastic for the back now you really do not need much I did not even measure it it is a elastic guide that you will just measure just make sure that you have one and fourth inch yard of uh, elastic for the back of your um, dress all right now that we talked about notions used let's talk about the fabric used. so the fabric used for this uh, dress is a linen um it's like a striped linen i purchased this fabric from joann's two and a half to three years ago and it was just in my stash just sitting there so when i decided to do the dress series i said you know what i have that exact same fabric that's on the pattern so i went to my stash of linen and pulled it out and sewed it together so that is the fabric used I, I'm going to tell you now that the fabric is sold out. If you can get it on the clearance at Joann's, you may spot it there, but you will not find it online on Joann's website or in stores. All right, moving on. Let's talk about the pattern pieces. So the pattern pieces you will need is pattern piece one, which I think is the front pattern piece. Number two, the back pattern piece three is your front facing four, your back facing um, I actually use pattern piece five and six, which is the front and the back straps for view A because I wanted it to tie instead of um, just having a strap. Um, I also use pattern piece number eight, which is the ruffle for view B. Those are all the pattern pieces. So I want to say roughly about six to seven pattern pieces in order to construct this um, dress. All right, so let's talk about pattern sizing. So the pattern sizing, I think the first envelope comes in extra small to medium, and then the second envelope comes in large to extra, extra large, I believe. Let me check for you. Yes, extra, extra large. The size that I cut is a small. However, I did have to size it up at the bust by adding one inch and then I sized up at the hips by adding one inch as well and I love 
it okay i love it it is so easy so i mean hey it was quick and easy you could get this dress done in one day from cutting all the way to sewing roughly about three to four hours give or take all right so let's talk about uh since i already talk, talked about the size that i cut did i make any modifications no i didn't make any modifications other than to use the straps from view a instead of the strap from view b other than that i didn't make any modifications it did not need any modifications in my opinion all right did it look like the photos or the drawing on the pattern envelope absolutely it looks exactly like the young model on the <laughs> envelope um like i said i love this dress easy to do all of that good stuff are the instructions easy to follow absolutely they are very easy to follow i feel like this is a beginner friendly pattern that you can do you could sew up really really quickly all right likes and dislikes i have no dislikes whatsoever it's all nothing but love all right so notice like all love i plan on doing this dress again in the springtime all right first time experiences i do not have any first time experiences like i said i have done everything um before easy to sew dress so yeah no first time experience whatsoever would i sew this dress again Absolutely. I plan on sewing it for the springtime, something nice and floral and flowy, like a rayon chalet or something like that. I think it would be amazing in that. And I have just the fabric in mind. All right. <laughs> All right. Recommendations. Would I recommend this pattern to others? absolutely <laughs> yes i will definitely recommend this to all of my new returning subscribers as well as those who watch and you are not subscribed so if you are not subscribed do me the pleasure of going ahead and subscribe it's free you have been to the channel many of times so just come on in subscribe and you will like what you see and continue watching me all right all right so my pattern rating so for this pattern i'm going to stamp this pattern as a five out of five simply because this is a super easy to sew pattern very easy to sew the instructions are very clear and it comes together so quickly you guys like I would not lie to you guys about that. It comes together so quickly. So there you have it. That is the entire pattern review. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So if you like this video, you can also click here or click here and you will see some more content. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, keep sewing.